This hybrid photography vlog post is part of the Smarter Photo Network. Hey, it's Crockett and welcome to Crockettville. We are catching up on some emails from the Ask Will section on discovermirrorless.com. And looks like my buddy Bill says he worked in television for a long time and worked under mixed lighting conditions where we're going to blend fluorescent lights, for instance, on the overhead. Think of a, an old style supermarket, right? Tall ceilings, fluorescent lights, got some windows in the front. Balancing all those different colors really was crazy when we were shooting in film days. And then early digital days, we had some problems there too. Right? One issue that you'll probably encounter is the more modern digital cameras really don't respond to filters in front of the lens the way we used to count on filters in front of the lens in the past. Now, of course, we can do it, but for effect, of course, we'd rather do it in post. But we noticed too that things like we used to use soft focus filters when we had a young person that was getting their senior portrait made and they had some complexion problems. We used to smooth it out with a little, we call them goo filter, a little goo filter in front of the lens, but digital cameras just make it look like it's out of focus. Well, Bill says, hey, Will, are these new mirrorless cameras going to help out when it comes to balancing unusual mixed lighting conditions? And Bill, I got to tell you, as a guy who shot a lot of industrial work over the years, I can tell you that when you start moving into mirrorless cameras, you're going to notice something right away, and that is that they process the funky green. You know the green shift that you get from fluorescence, right? Fluorescent lights have what we call an LB shift problem. That's a light balance shift problem. There's a balance between magenta and green. And a lot of times fluorescent lights don't have enough magenta, so it makes them appear like they're a little green, right? Well, you'll find out, Bill, that particularly mirrorless cameras have intelligent white balance functions. And you're going to be using, I know it sounds crazy, you're going to be using auto white balance to help out in mixed lighting conditions because the amount of computer processing inside mirrorless cameras when it comes to white balance, and particularly auto white balance, is shocking. The auto white balance on a mirrorless camera is so much better than anything you've ever worked on with a DSLR. Now, of course, that's going to really inflame the DSLR guys. And on our YouTube channel, you just watch. You're going to get all kinds of angry little <laughs> guys. Well, the guys that wear their Canon shirts right to bed with them, <laughs> they're going to post on a YouTube channel about how I'm so crazy you're bought off or whatever. No. Try it. Bill, do yourself a favor. Get a hold of somebody that's got primarily Lumix, right? The Fuji system is actually very sensitive to the magenta green shift and does a good job of getting rid of it. But go with one of the more tolerant mirrorless cameras. So the Lumix GH3, the Lumix G6, the Lumix G5, if you would like to experiment with a used camera, a used Lumix GH2 actually does a fabulous job, but borrow one and try it and you'll probably find out like we did that getting it out of auto white balance when you need to shoot neutral, 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 it doesn't matter. You're just going to leave it in auto and go. So excellent question, Bill. Thanks a lot. Shooting videos are available for you at shootsmarteruniversity.com. And they're less than 10 bucks a piece, too.